Charlie Maxwell was known for his Sunday punch, a man who picked this special day to knock the ball to the seats in Tiger Stadium. Charlie, if I said to you, if I said to you, one day, May 2nd, 1959, what would you say to me? Well, that was when we had to change the managers in Detroit. And uh, we was, uh, we had a, I think it was like, what, 2-15 and 15 or 2-17. and 17. We had a, you know, wasn't doing very well. And that's when they fired uh, Bill Norman, running Jimmy Dyke. And then that's the day I finally got in the lineup for, to play full-time and hit the four consecutive home runs. I hit one uh, my last time up in the first game. Then I hit three in a row in the second game against New York. So there's consecutive times at bat. You know, a lot was made of the fact that you hit a lot of home runs on Sunday. Right. Well, what was that all about? Was there any psychological involvement there that, that, that you did hit so many on a Sunday? Actually, I think Dan Patrick, you know how great he was. You know, he, he started all that and happened to be. That's where I really got to start because I'd hit a couple before that. But then when I hit the four on that Sunday, then they boomeranged and it happened to be, I think, the next week I come back and hit another one and just seemed like it you know, started going like that. And I don't know why. 